Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. This is Sandeep. Today we'll see one important topic as well as interview question for zero to four years of experience. Difference between JDBC and Hibernate. Difference between JDBC and Hibernate. So first and foremost difference is database independent and database dependent. So JDBC is database specific. That means database dependent. Hibernate is database independent. Why Hibernate is database independent? Because Hibernate itself generate the queries at runtime based on the dialects. Based on the dialects given in hibernate.cfg.xml, Hibernate generates runtime queries. So even though if you want to change, today we are using MySQL and tomorrow if you want to use Oracle, you can simply change the dialect and uh, there won't be much dependency with the code. But coming to the JDBC, it's not like that. We need to change the queries, which is a database specific. And second one, does not support caching. Hibernate supports caching. JDBC does not support caching. So caching is nothing but it sits between the application and well as well as the database. So the advantage of caching is it reduces the, it improves the performance and reduces the database hits. So JDBC does not support caching. Hibernate supports caching. In Hibernate, there are two types of caching. One is first level caching, that is session caching and second level caching, which is a second session factory caching. Third one, in JDBC, developer has to manually, uh, what developer has to manually populate the Java objects from result set. Developer has to manually populate the Java objects from result set. But coming to the Hibernate, it is done through, as Hibernate is an ORM framework, it is done through HBM file. There is no manual conversion of result set to object. So what happens is it reduces the development time and maintenance cost and there is also no duplicate code or uh, repeated code in case of ORM framework. And coming to the fourth point, connection pooling. So JDBC does not implement any connection pooling. We need to implement our own connection pooling mechanism. Coming to the Hibernate, in Hibernate we need to use connection pool. We can use connection pooling such as C3P0, etc. Or uh, C3P0, there is no need to implement our own connection pooling. And the fifth point. JDBC does not support lazy loading, Hibernate supports lazy loading which offers better performance. So in case of JDBC, suppose if you have 100 columns in a database, okay, it does not support any lazy loading. But coming to the Hibernate, it supports lazy loading. Suppose if you have 100 columns in the database, if I want to fetch only few columns, okay, if, you, if I want to fetch only few columns on the database, I can run through by using lazy attribute by defining in the HPM. And coming to the JDBC, in JDBC user is responsible for creating and closing the connections. But in case of Hibernate, Hibernate runtime system takes care of creating and closing the connections. So the advantage of closing the connections or the drawback if you don't close the connections is, there is a chance of connection leakage. So there is a more chance of connection leakage in case of JDBC, but coming to the Hibernate, Hibernate runtime system takes care of creating and closing the connections. And coming to the JDBC, JDBC is a technology, Hibernate is an ORM framework. Hibernate itself is an ORM framework, JDBC is a technology. So whatever the code for, uh, whatever the code we have to, uh, in order to perform code operations, we need to write by ourselves. But as Hibernate is a framework, it provides many methods or predefined methods to perform code operations. Not only this, we have many advantages for the framework like connection pooling, caching, etc. which is not there in case of JDBC. Why? Because JDBC is a technology. Next, last point is JDBC does not support associations but Hibernate supports associations. JDBC does not support associations, Hibernate supports associations. Hope you guys understand this video. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my videos.